Hello, my name is Oldřich Viziblo. In development of Škoda Auto, I'm responsible for electric powertrain. Now I want to show you powertrain of our Škoda Enyaq IV. What is characteristic for this car is main powertrain on the rear axle drive and in case of all-wheel drive car, the second powertrain on the front axle. Now, a little bit more to the rear axle drive. Charis electric motor, in this case is synchron electric motor with permanent magnets, which is connected to single speed gearbox and controlled by power electronic. On the rear of the car we can find some other components which are necessary for function, like the DC-DC converter to 12 volt, an onboard charger so we can charge the car from home socket. All of these components are connected to power line and cooling system, which is included to the chassis and stay like a part of the car. On the front axle, we can find for all-wheel drive version second powertrain. In this case, it's asynchronous motor, which is connected to two single-speed gearbox and power electronic. On the front of the car, we can find some other components which are necessary for comfort, like the clima compressor and heating system. All of this is connected to power line, cooling system, including chair. These parts are assembled to the chassis and stay like a part of the car. Maybe you have a question why synchron machine and asynchronous machine in combination. Synchron machine on the rear axle drive combinate optimum power and efficiency, and asynchronous machine for all-wheel drive version bring more power on the front axle. About the power, we start at 109 kilowatt, up to 195 kilowatt for all-wheel drive version. Maximum power 220 kilowatt is reserved for our RS version. Thank you for attention and enjoy your drive.